Three passions, simple but overwhelmingly strong, have governed my life. The longing for love, the search for knowledge, and unbearable pity for the suffering of mankind. These passions, like great winds, have blown me hither and thither in a wayward course over a deep ocean of anguish, reaching to the very verge of despair. I have sought knowledge. I have wished to understand the hearts of men. I have wished to know why the stars shine. I have tried to apprehend the Pythagorean power by which number holds sway above the flux. A little of this, but not much, I have achieved. Have you found on the whole in your own life that the pursuit of either mathematics or philosophy has given you a, some sort of substitute for religious emotion? Yes, it certainly did. I mean, oh, well, until I was about 40, I should think, I got the sort of satisfaction that Plato says you can get out of mathematics. It was an eternal world, it was a timeless world. It was a world where there was a possibility of a certain kind of perfection. And uh, I certainly got something analogous to religious satisfaction out of it. Love and knowledge, so far as they were possible, led upward toward the heavens. But always pity brought me back to earth. Echoes of cries of pain have reverberated in my heart. Children in famine, victims tortured by oppressors, helpless old people, a hated burden to their sons, and the whole world of loneliness, poverty, and pain make a mockery of what human life should be. I long to alleviate evil, but I cannot, and I do suffer. Why I'm Not a Christian is the name given to a collection of Russell's essays that was put together in 1957, not by Russell himself, but by Paul Edwards, a, a philosopher in the United States. It brings together a lot of Russell's anti-religious writings and represents a good sort of summary of Russell's thinking about religion. I object to their <coughs> attitude about birth control, their attitude about divorce, their attitude about sex generally which comes out of St. Paul, it's all in St. Paul, and which I think is just morbid and causes a great deal of unhappiness, quite unnecessary unhappiness, both in those who obey the code and in those who don't. because it brings ecstasy. Ecstasy so great that I would often have sacrificed all the rest of life for a few hours of this joy. In the union of love, I have seen in a mystic miniature the prefiguring vision of the heaven that saints and poets have imagined. This is what I saw. And though it might seem too good for human life, this is what, at last, I have found.